You've probably seen a bunch of times in video games. Game Freak is the company responsible for the creation of Pokemon and other games like Yoshi and Mario and Wario. This is Lonely Mimikyu and today we will be talking about the history of Game Freak. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And if you enjoyed this one, please tap the like button. Don't forget to check out my other videos and if you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment as you may do more of this video format if you like it. Without further delay, let's jump on it. Game Freak Company Limited is a Japanese video game developer, best known as the primary developer of the Pokemon series of role-playing video games published by Nintendo. The Pokemon series have sold over 300 million copies in total. Game Freak shares ownership of the Pokemon Company with Creatures Incorporated and Nintendo. By the way, I posted a video about Pokemon Now and Then where I talk about how far Pokemon has come. So if you haven't already watched it, I put the link down in the description. Now let's continue with the video. Game Freak was founded on April 26, 1989 by Satoshi Taijiri, Ken Sujimori and Junichi Masuda. Game Freak, at the time unincorporated, originated as a video game magazine in the early 1980s. Run chiefly by Taijiri, with an art made by Sujimori, the magazines typically were released at a length of around 28 pages and at a price of 300 yen, which is roughly $3. And I want to mention, the magazines were actually handwritten. In 1989, Taijiri published his first video game, Quinty, which was localized as Mando Palace for its North American release. In the same year, Game Freak was officially incorporated and began work on several video games for the two largest players in the industry at the time, Nintendo and Sega. Among these games were licensed titles such as Yoshi and Mario and Wario, as well as original games such as Postman and Smartball. The Pokemon idea began as Capsule Monsters in 1990. Taijiri pitched his idea to Nintendo, however it was rejected, and issues copywriting the name led Taijiri to change it, first shortening it to Capumon, then changing it to Pocket Monsters. With further revision of the idea, Taijiri pitched it again to Nintendo, and with the confidence of Shigeru Miyamoto, Saying the decision, development was finally a go. By the way, I also did a video on the Monsters in My Pocket franchise which also deeply influenced the name change for Pokemon. So if you haven't checked that one out also, I'll leave the link down in the description for you. The development of the Pokemon Red and Green was incredibly difficult for the team at Game Freak, with a 6 year development period and low finances of the company, causing many of the staff to leave for other employment. Taijiri himself worked long hours, many of them unpaid, in order to bring Pokemon out, finally releasing them on February 27th. 1996. An international success overnight, Game Freak became recognized as one of the best game developers Nintendo had worked with, leading to their second party status. Between the approval and completion stages of the first set of Pokemon games, Game Freak got also involved in the development of two Nintendo games, Yoshi and Mario and Wario. Since Red and Green, Game Freak has developed all core series games, as well as the free-to-play spin-off game Pokemon Quest. Other games including the Battle Arena games and GameCube RPGs Pokemon Colosseum and XD have been developed by other Nintendo affiliates and subsidiaries. The Game Boy camera, more of an add-on of the Game Boy than a game itself, had its image editing software developed by Game Freak as well. In October 2015, Game Freak bought Koa Games, a mobile development company. In 2019, Game Freak director Masayuki Onui revealed that Game Freak is increasingly prioritizing original game creation in order to grow their experience for its staff. The company's Gear Project initiative, which encourages creators to pitch original game ideas during quiet periods, has so far resulted in original games like Harmonite, Pocket Card Jockey, Tempo the Badass Elephant, and Giga Wrecker. This is all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Do you agree with the video uh, or do you have any other suggestions? Please leave a comment and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe as this really helps the channel to grow so I can bring you even more non-mainstream content. I'll see you in the next video guys, but before I end this one, I'd want to share the philosophy of Game Freak, and I hope it inspires everyone like it also inspired me. Game Freak's philosophy, as stated in their website, is to give the people of the world enjoyment, fun and discovery to continuously creating games of superior quality, and to encourage bravery, hope, kindness, dreams and an adventure spirit. On that note, Lonely Mimikyu, out.